Jimmy, how you doing? I'm very glad you're here because you're a very smart guy, a brilliant guy. I will finish you your so thought, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> but a terrible thing happened today in Paris. Yes. Uh, the Tell them. People were killed. Oh, well, I know a lot of people are on vacation, so maybe they don't know what's going on. You're the news. host. You've got to tell them the bad news. The bad news is uh, cartoonists, uh, journalists, uh, some other people, police officer, were killed in Paris. This was really big <laughs> It is, yes. Especially in our business in particular. Right. Especially in, in your business in particular. Right. And, and we have to not avoid who did this. Who did this, Jimmy? Well, we presume, and I think no, it's, it's safe... No, it's not a presume. Uh -huh. No, no. It's Muslim terrorists. Y yes, Muslim terrorists. Right. This happens often. way too frequently. It's like Groundhog Day, except if the groundhog kept getting his head cut off. And let's, let's also give some credit to this newspaper. This was a satirical newspaper in Paris. These guys had the balls of the Eiffel Tower. Yeah, their office Their was balls bombed. were bigger than Gerard Depardieu. Because <laughs> they kept doing it. They were firebombed. The, their offices Absolutely. were set on fire. They continued. The editor said he'd rather die than, right. than ch change his right to free expression. For the, for the crime of being satirists, for the crime of drawing cartoons. This has to stop. And unfortunately, a lot of the liberals who are my tribe, I am a proud liberal. He's about to turn on you, so... <laughs> no, I'm not turning on them. I'm asking them to turn toward the truth, as I have been for quite a while. I'm the liberal in this debate, okay? I'm for free speech. To be a liberal, you have to stand up for liberal principles. It's not my fault that the part of the world that is most against liberal principles is the Muslim part of the world. There have been studies. We have facts on this. Treatment of women, they studied 130 different countries. 17 of the bottom 20 were Muslim countries. In 10 Muslim countries, you can get the death penalty just for being gay. They chop heads off in the square in Mecca. Well, Mecca is their Vatican City. If they were chopping the heads off of Catholic gay people, wouldn't there be a bigger outcry among liberals? I ask you. Yes. So... You know, to, to bring it home to us, because we are satirists, and I'm a satirist who deals with this subject particularly, it's kind of scary that some people say, you cannot make a joke. That's off limits. We saw this with Kim Jong-un. Yes, we did. And, and The interview. And I have to say, I was disappointed. A movie I am in. I was disappointed <laughs> by responses I, I for 10 seconds <laughs> that doesn't get you off the hook i was disappointed in the response that i saw from some people who said well may, you shouldn't maybe we shouldn't make movies like this we shouldn't do this kind of thing people who don't really seem to understand how big this is and uh, the big picture and how important something like that actually is P nation <laughs> that yeah, was my truth yeah. You, um... No, we, we, we have to stop saying, when something like this that happened in Paris today, we have to stop saying, well, we should not insult a great religion. First of all, there are no great religions. They're all stupid and dangerous. <laughs> and we should insult them, and we should be able to insult whatever we want. That is what True. free speech is like. There are certain people in the world who want waivers on free speech. Kim Jong-un in Korea says, you cannot make jokes about our country uh, and there's a lot of muslim people in the world I, I know most muslim people would not have carried out an attack like this true but here's the important point hundreds of millions of them support an attack like this they applaud an attack like this what they say is oh we don't approve of violence but you know what when you make fun of the prophet all bets are off do you well, really then you think do Hundreds of millions of Muslims support Absolutely. this? Absolutely. That is mainstream in the Muslim world. That when you make fun of the prophet, all bets are off. You get what's coming to you. It's also mainstream that if you leave the religion, you get what's coming to you, which is death. Not in every Muslim country, in, in majority numbers, but this is a problem in the world that we have to stand up to. And again, I'm the liberal in this debate. I was brought up in a liberal family. The reason we were liberals is because we were against oppression. I was a little kid when my father told us, we're with Kennedy. 
and against the southern governors who stand in the doorways and don't let black kids go to school. And all my life, I've been for people who have been the, the downtrodden, the oppressed, the minorities. I've been for blacks, gays, women, Mexicans, who, who, the bullied, whoever it is. Why don't we stop right there? Not you in particular, <laughs> but I mean in general.